The Presidency of Defense Industries, Savunma Sanayi Baskinligi, SSB, has announced that Turkey has placed an order for the sixth prototype of its indigenous Khan fighter jet. According to Ulusavunma.com, the latest order will enable Turkish Aerospace Industries, TIE, to carry out a series of critical test phases in parallel, including wind tunnel experiments, environmental stress trials, avionics validation, high-speed taxi tests, and runway runs. These activities are seen as pivotal in preparing the Khan for eventual production and integration into the Turkish Air Force. In a statement, SSB said deliveries of the fifth-generation Khan fighter to the Turkish Air Force will begin in phases after the initial prototypes, with each production block incorporating progressively advanced capabilities. One of the program's most critical milestones involves integrating an entirely domestically developed engine. The integration process, according to Turkish defense officials, is progressing on schedule. Future iterations, Block 30 and Block 40 are slated to use this homegrown engine, with test flights and validation planned as the technology matures. The Khan project, initially launched in 2010, has become a cornerstone of Turkey's drive to achieve defense self-sufficiency and reduce reliance on foreign systems. The aircraft is designed as a twin-engine stealth fighter capable of supersonic speeds and advanced combat maneuverability. Globally, only a handful of nations field fifth-generation fighters. The United States leads with its F-22 Raptor and a growing fleet of F-35 Lightning II jets. China and Russia follow with their J-20, J-35 and Su-57 programs. Turkey's Khan, observers say, represents a credible attempt by a NATO member to develop a comparable platform. The Khan features a stealthy airframe with an internal weapons bay, advanced avionics, and a projected maximum speed approaching Mach 2. Its combat range is expected to exceed 1,000 kilometers, enabling it to perform both air superiority and strike missions. Turkey's accelerated development of the Khan follows its removal from the US F-35 program in 2019 over Ankara's purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense system. The rupture forced Turkey to double down on its indigenous fighter efforts, which had initially been conceived as a complementary capability to the F-35. In 2024, the first Khan prototype completed a successful maiden flight two years ahead of schedule, flying for 13 minutes over Ankara. Turkish officials hailed the achievement as a breakthrough in the nation's aerospace ambitions. The aircraft's future production blocks are expected to transition from using US-made General Electric F-110 engines to Turkish-developed power plants. Turkish Aerospace Industries has also partnered with Bay Systems to provide engineering support during the early design phase, though the program remains primarily indigenous. Ankara hopes to position the Khan as a potential export platform for nations seeking advanced fighter technology outside the U.S. sphere of influence. Reports suggest countries including Azerbaijan, Indonesia, and even Ukraine have expressed interest in the aircraft as they look to modernize their air forces. For Turkey, the Khan symbolizes more than technological prowess. It aligns with Ankara's broader geopolitical strategy to expand its influence across the Middle East, Central Asia, and Africa while maintaining its role as a key NATO member. The Khan phased development and integration into the Turkish Air Force are projected to continue into the early 2030s, with full operational capability expected by 2035.